you first start off and you open the program, you're going to give be given the option of scale. And uh, you want to choose whichever scale you think your object uh, will fit best in, in order so it can fit the screen. And you can know exactly about how big and wide uh, your object will be. So I'm going to be using the, the scale feet. So whenever you hit your scale, uh, you're shown these four viewpoints. And this is just your, uh, your different viewpoints. Uh, Perspective shows the actual object in 3D, and in order to kind of zoom around and look at it, just hold down the right uh, mouse button in perspective, and you can pull it around like this. Uh, top, front, right, and you want to choose whichever one's easiest for you to start designing the object in. So in order to zoom into the viewpoint, you just double-click this top little left button right here. Double-click in, double-click out. Okay, so once you're in, uh, I'm going to start my base. I'm going to be designing a basic window frame. Uh, and so I'm going to want to start with the rectangle tool. And it's a two-point rectangle tool where you just put down one point, drag it to where you want the next one, and put down the next one. Or you could actually uh, type in the length up here. But uh, since this is a quick video, I'm just going to do it the fastest way. So I lay down the outside frame of my uh, window frame, and now I'm going to be doing the inside squares. So I'm just going to create my first little square about what I think it's going to fit. And now that I have this one created, I want it to be the same size in all four, so I'm going to copy it. So just, uh, just click it and then come up here and type in copy, or you can go find it in one of these little tabs up here. So hit copy, point to copy from. I want to hit, uh, I just want to kind of get in the center. And uh, if you hold down shift, it keeps you straight. So I did it in center right here. And now I'm going to do up here. And I'm going to just kind of guess it maybe because you can't really do it straight up or down right here. All right, now I have it. Now I have my four little windows for the window frame. Uh, so next, I'm going to want to do uh, a command called Planner Surface. Surface, as you can see up here. See, I typed it up in there. And just hit Enter. Wait, sorry. Okay, and that just created created the object uh, itself. That that just filled in all these little lines I created. Let me show you. Uh, to change the viewpoint, you want to go up here to this little button. And I'm going I'm to use a shaded viewpoint. In order to, for it to pop out, just hold it down. Now you see how my, my window frame is, has been created. But it's still, it's still only one dimension, as you can see. It's still flat. Next, I want to select it all. So I'm going to the top viewpoint, and I'm just going to hold down uh, my left cl mouse click button and just uh, pull it to the left and select it all. And then I'm going to want to use a command called extrude curve. Okay, which allows me to just pull about how wide I want my object. And uh, you definitely want to hit this button up here, cap. Yes, so it keeps everything. It keeps uh, it caps all the little sides and stuff. So I'm just going to pull it about what I think a window frame should be. And that's it. That's your basic little window frame using the extrude, uh, planar surface, and the square tool. Uh, there are many other ways of creating creating the uh, creating the object, uh, but this is just one little easy couple steps to, to for basics. Uh, and so, you, as you can see, I'm, I'm viewing it. And now, uh, if you want to render it to where you can see what it would look like kind of in, uh, in person, you just hit this blue ball up here, which renders it. So, that's my basic window frame. And now I'm going to show you how to add color real quick, because I forgot to show you. So, you want to go to this object, exit out of this, select the object, and now over here, this little uh, properties comes out, this little, so you want to hit object and go to material. And I'm just going to use a basic material and add a color. I'm going to do brown because it's window. Just pick a color over here. All right, brown. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss because uh, people usually paint their, uh, you know, their window frame or stain them. So I'm just add, I'm going to add four. And I applied. Let me see if it worked. Yeah, it did work. So you just click out and uh, it adds color to it. And that's some of the basics of uh, Rhino 3D.